Hey YouTube, uh, this is Rewolfness again. So, this is a video of how to improve your gameplay in Dead by Daylight Part 1. The first one we'll start with Jukes, Loops, and Chase. And I will mention 360 as well. Um, so, I'm not the best rank 1 player ever. I definitely have room to improve. But this is how I got to rank 1 and I've been consistently getting to rank 1 every month. It's and all I do is play against rank 1 players, I don't really try to far or D rank, that's not my thing. I will play with um, what I can and uh, do what I can to stay in rank 1. And I do play around and I hope you guys uh, do enjoy this video, if you guys do, please click like and below and comment and tell me what you guys think. Uh, definitely would improve myself, so yeah. Okay, as a survivor, let's make this quick start. To be honest, this sounds really weird, but female characters are the way to go because they have a smaller sh structure and it's easier to hide. I just like to play David King myself. But for this video's sake, we are going to play Fan Ming. Just because she is... Yeah, guys, I'm Chinese. Anyways, could, let's, get, let's get the game started and let's go in here, guys. See you guys inside. Bye. Okay guys, let's start off the basis of basis of power looping. My friend TNT is gonna help me out here. Uh, I'll introduce him in the next video. But this is a one power loop. Um, when you get chased, you always want to look back and make sure you see the killer at all times, know where he is in case he double backs. Uh, sometimes you can do something like this, a uh, fake a pallet, uh, because sometimes killers do uh, they fall for it. Sometimes you can fall for it two or three times, and it saves a lot of time. Of course, for the video's sake, we're just gonna throw the pallet down and uh, get going here. And this lasts for almost thirty seconds, and that's a lot of time for someone working on your generators. Guys. All right, guys, let's jump on the next one. So this is the jungle gym loop or the no pallet loop, which you can see this this uh, loop for quite often here. Um, but the thing is about this one that you have to pay attention where the killer is at all times. But you can stop by three ways. One is when the window is sealed off after you jump over it multiple times, or if the killer has bamboozle or he enters bloodlust one. But this one you have to watch where the killer is at all times, and this is where you kind of uh, kite them. They this. A lot of killers do need to double back on these ones to catch you. Uh, of course, if they do swing and miss, uh, they do lose their uh, bloodlust, which uh, prolongs this run here. Um, getting hit is not a problem sometimes is because that when you get hit, it's kind of a sign for you to jump on the next uh, next pallet or just keep looping a little bit longer because now the bloodlust is gone. You you just reach a huge distance. Uh, of course, this run here is something that you practice on because it does require to watch where the killer at all times. So I'll show you a little clip that I did to a letter face a couple days ago. I uh, hope you guys uh, see what I mean here, okay? I'll show you now. I'm bringing him over. He's going to chase me now. No, no, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just keep doing Jenny. He's going to chase me for a while. He doesn't know how to stop this loop. He doesn't know how to stop this loop. Yep. All right, let's do it, Jen. Okay. Three quarters of the way done. Uh, I'll get this hacks for a bit. What? How did that hit me? There's a Jen right in front of us. Uh, right. Almost done. Where? Three. I thought there was, but. Don't worry, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. Take your time, guys. Don't worry. I hope that looping will help you guys and works out for you guys. Let me know below. So next one, I uh, will show you guys two jukes that I uh, I do often, but th this juke requires a female character to do it because it's easier with it because it's just a smaller structure. So you throw a pallet, hide in the corner, let the killer run past you. They usually find out afterwards. But anyways, next one is my favorite one if you watch my streaming up is the window tech. Uh, what you do is you jump through the window, show that you're going to the right, and quickly crouch back, and uh, then you just throw back out to the window. That's why I'll show you a clip of what I do here. Uh, I do this quite often, and I hope you guys enjoy. Have fun with this. If you can find a noise, what? I... if you can find a noise, if you can find a noise, I will try. He's near me. <laughs> How savage was that? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god! That was... 
Okay, guys, uh, this is the part where everyone wants to see at times is the 360. Uh, you do not need 360 to hit rank 1. I don't. I didn't learn it a lot later anyway. So uh, here's some clips of me 360 people, and I'll show you a clip of how a rank 1 killer deal with 360. A lot of them will know how it works and how to deal with it. Uh, but anyways, guys, enjoy the clip. Uh, wait for part 2 for uh, the how to improve your gameplay in Dead by Daylight, and enjoy the clips, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Now, where am I stopping to go? I'm sorry. Why are you chasing me so hard? I'm sorry, okay? Ah! I'm sorry. Remember the time that I, I I didn't throw a rock at you? Oh yeah, remember that time you did. I remember that time it's pretty good. Alright, there's too much confusion here. Where the fuck is it? Oh, shit. No, get the fuck out of here. How do we get out of here? Get out of oh, here. Sorry. Oh sorry. Okay. I'm sorry. We need one more. He's nodding at you. Whoever you are, he's nodding at you. <laughs> 